Active Sky 6.5 options and weather settings. Updates and weather rights. Online updates ticked. Vatsim online weather ticked. Use update suppression ticked. Disable all updates on ground unticked. Use local range suppression ticked. Global area rights ticked. Automatic global right toggle ticked. Disable local changes on ground unticked. Force destination weather zone ticked. Ignore FS ready status unticked. Suppression ceiling in feet 1000. Suppression range in nautical miles 5. Update interval in minutes 10. Your default startup location is user choice, but I've selected Yankee Mike Mike Lima, which is Melbourne Airport, Australia. Going through startup and general settings. Play startup sound effect. It's another user choice, but I've got it unticked because I don't like hearing the sound. Uh, start pause. Brackets refresh to start. I've got that ticked. Unpause on FS ready status unticked. Disable text messages ticked. Voice ADA slash flight watch ticked. Automatic dot PLN convert to FS9 ticked. Auto refresh AI on first weather set ticked. Ignore FS location until ready ticked. Display millibars as decimal. You want that unticked. Onwards to the dynamics part of things. TAF processing should be greyed out and unticked. Use system time brackets verse FS time, I want that ticked. Automatic time zone detection ticked. Enable offline sequence playback and auto set FS time on archive D slash L. Both need to be unticked. Your time conversion value should be 10. Your performance throttling settings should be both unticked. Just that's disabled right throttling and disabled process throttling should be both unticked. Through the visibility side of things, disable visibility graduation unticked. Sorry. Visibility smoothing unticked. Enforce visibility limits ticked. Fog layer generation unticked. Depict FS haze layer unticked. Minimum visibility in brackets SM0 should be 0. Maximum visibility in SM should be 59. Through to the winds and turbulence part of things. Enable vertical air simulation ticked. Gen auto generate VAS points ticked. Wake turbulence simulation ticked. Increase wake effects ticked. FSUIPC wind smoothing control should be ticked. From disable direct wind control to force constant root pressure should be unticked. So from F from disable direct wind control, all of the below should be unticked. True to the boxes, surface wind limit in knots should be greyed out and 10. Wind drift rate in seconds should be zero. Aloft predictability in percentage should be 100. Auto VAS frequency in percentage should be 30. Auto VAS strength in percentage should be 30. Turbulence frequency should be in, in percentage should be 30. Proxy server, you can set whatever you want in there, but I've got no details in there. I don't through, go through proxies. Default weather file folder. Now that's user choice. Uh, correction, that should be um, uh, in there already. It's a default thing. Um, if not, select your folder, your main uh, Active Sky root folder. Your clouds and precipitation, going through those settings now. Overcast enhancement ticked. Disable cover K cloud generation unticked. Disable upper layer generation unticked. Limit cloud layers unticked. Force thunderstorm with CB should be ticked. Extend thunderstorm layers unticked. Add rain with TS reports ticked. Prevent all icing. It's user choice, but some aircraft. Um, uh, panels and, and dynamics don't work properly, um, such as pitot heat, etc. I've got that ticked, um, so prevent all icing ticked. You can have it unticked, just use a choice. Favor cumulus versus stratus ticked. Force lower ceiling ticked. Cloud layer limit grayed out, should be grayed out, and 5. Max, max thickness in feet should be 10,000. Stratus separation in feet should be 7,000. Through to your graphics part of things, um, enable ASG auto submit ticked um, and then these two full sky theme um, is weather influenced although you can change that depending on how you like your clouds etc read the manual for further information same goes with cirrus theme I've got that weather influenced again it's user choice um, if you've got GE Pro um, enable GE Pro submit on new flight plan um, and again you've got your full sky if you don't have GE Pro just leave it on ASG um, enable wide FS integration if you've got wide FS use that that needs to be ticked if you don't leave it unticked use fetch station for GE Pro if you've got GE Pro ticket 
if you don't untick it. Server selection, just leave force primary and force secondary unticked. That's it, you've configured your active Sky 6.5 graphics. Thanks.